everybody. Today we have a very important subject to talk is about our global projects. And our main speaker is Daniela Ragazzi, a BPW member from Switzerland, who is the administrator of the pilot project task force. Thank you very much, Daniela, for your commitment in this very special work. And the floor is yours. Hey to everybody. I'm really happy to give this presentation to you. Really thankful for Anne, and I guess it's also Jasmine in the background who's doing this. It's a great opportunity for us to do this. And Ursula Schmidt, who have done huge this and made the whole thing possible. What I'm telling you now is also from you, from all of you who are listening or have been listening to me before on the different conferences and so I'm giving me some input. We're really thankful for that and what I present now is based on all of that. Okay, I go now over to the presentation so to show you what we have been doing. Okay. 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 I'm going to talk about BPW international projects. So first I want to talk about why is it so important that we have projects, that we publish them. Because you are all or lots of you are having projects and doing them for I guess quite a long time. So project is, and also the experts, are a tool for sustainability. That means, say, my project is itself, yeah, that goes, comes and goes. We started one last year and it's going to end this year and afterwards it's stopped. But if you have a series of projects, then the time limit the time frame disappears because then you have a sequence of projects. And what's very important and really very good about projects, because they're, let's say, short to medium term, sometimes they are also long term projects, they satisfy the actual needs and the actual goals of society or for BPW, the goals of BPW, which is the promotion of women. And Projects, I guess, more than ever, attract attention and sponsoring. Experts are part of the whole thing because in order to do a project, very often you need some expertise. That's when the experts come in. And having experts means we have a sound basis for projects and projects. And I think everybody who is listening right now is a expert in some field. So it's really important that we have projects and experts. What are additional benefits for, let's say, for publication? If you publish your project, then you see and other do the same. Then you see what other people, other women are doing, what other projects are doing and you learn from them, you get inspiration for them, and your project can grow in quality, in, uh, let's say, target groups, connections, whatever. It also gives you benefits for yourself. Because you can show what you're doing, you can get recognized and people see, oh, she's doing that. Oh, that's very good. That's, that's just marvelous what she's doing. And you learn. You learn by doing, learning by doing. And that's, I guess, one of those means you learn mostly most. So it's really important also for yourself. Then we are a women's organization you are also an inspiration for other women and other projects. And then, least, last but not least, 
it's also, I said that before, it's a basis for sponsoring. Um, also the UN, let's say uh, UN group is very keen on having a overview or a means to show all the projects to the UN because UN wants to know what the other way. It's one of the reasons why we are there. And then it's also, if you want to show or make PR for DPW, DPW, you, it's sort of media information. You can show them, you can show the media what we are doing. Then in DPW, we have two kind, different kinds of projects. We have the club and federation projects, that means of DPW clubs or of DPW federation and affiliates. We're collecting them now, I guess, for two years, so that's pretty new. And then we have member projects, that's projects done by individual members. And that's an actual pilot by DPW International based on a resolution in from Shishu. The difference between that, those kinds of projects is that whereas with the club and federation projects, if the project leader leaves or takes over another position, the project still stays with the clubs or the federation and affiliates. Whereas if member project, if the member leaves, she takes her projects with her. And it's not no more related to BPW. Then what I'm going to talk now is also what you found on our website. We have a website, you see that on top, www.bpw slash projects dot org. There you can find information to the Garden Federation projects, the member projects, and yes. I'm going first to talk now about the Club and Federation projects. If you click on the button Club and Federation project, then you find a list of countries. And if you click, for example, Canada, then what that's what you get on the left hand side, that's the three Canadian projects that have been registered up to now. It's just a short overview. It's name of the project with a one sentence description. But with every project on that list, you have also a button for read more, where you get, can get more information. On the right hand side, you see the four projects registered by Pakistan. Then if you press this um, see more button, then now I have a Brazilian project and a Italian project. You get more description. If they have photos, you also see the photos. You see exactly which club, which country is responsible for this project when the project has started and when it has been registered. If you give information on any partners, that's included here as well. And you also can include some further documents, which we will, yeah, can then um, download as well. That's about this, yes. And now I'd like to show you how to register the Club and Federation projects. So just to make sure that you can do that, because sometimes it takes some special effort to do that, but actually it's quite easy. You go to the www.bpw/projects.org page, and then you click on the Club and Federation project you click on registering your club and federation projects and then you can select the language now i here have selected the english language you press you click on that button and then registration form 
will appear. There you have to fill in like the name, emails, then whether the email address can be published, the title of the project, the goals, keep it short, because it goes on the website, and when the project has started, and a short description. So where you can say a little more than just the goals of the project. If you have any official project description, you can attach that as well. Then, of course, we want to know whether it's done by the Club Federation or the Associated Club. And yeah, which club is it? Where from? And then, if you go to the middle, if the project is done in cooperation with partners. I think nowadays lots of projects are done with partners, so please fill that in if you have any partners. Because it, it also shows how well you are connected and probably also gives an indication how large or the project is and in relation to other probably organizations and everything. Then if you have your own website or if you have a web Facebook indicate that as well because that's all put on the website so it's actually also a means to promote your project on our website. Then just at the end you can write some message if you have something especially important to say and you can upload files, logos, photos, additional information, whatever comes up and then submit the whole thing and that's it at the moment. That's the um, form we have right now. We're working on that and there will be an additional field where you have to confirm that your club or federation president knows about the registration because it's very important for them to know that those pro projects have been registered. And we really assume that you do that. It's really important to do that for them. And if a president has any issues on that, afterwards seeing that, she can come to you or to us, and then, yeah, we will discuss the whole thing. But we don't want to leave the club presidents or the federation presidents outside of the whole process. Now, I just want to give you a short overview of the projects we have. It's now, what you see here is a list of all countries with one project. But Burkina Faso, Cameroon, they have many more projects. The same is true for Italy, for example, or Pakistan, you've seen four before. Brazil has many more projects. Spain has many projects. So just to see, give you an, an indication what projects we have. And if we go to statistics, here you see all the 83 projects we have now that they're coming from. And as you see, Nigeria is absolutely amazing, having registered 18 projects up to now. Spain and Italy are also very well on the way registering their projects and other countries are coming as well but as you see here on the list we have about 25 countries and as far as i know we are now more in 100 countries actually the list should be much longer if we have a look on the regional distribution we come to this picture you see that africa because mainly of Nigeria has most of the projects, then second comes Europe, third is, let's say, Asia Pacific, and then at the end we have Latin America and North America and the Caribbean. That's it about the Club and Federation project. Now we also have MEM projects, and up to now I think it's about 
20, 25 pro member projects we have. If you go to the member projects page, um, you can have a list by country. That's where you see those two projects. One from Australia, UN Global, Global Compact Initiative, and the Bees and Trees project. Anne Hilty, who is doing now this video, she has about three projects. Hopefully, I'm correct with number. Then we have other projects from Switzerland. We have projects from Italy, from France. We have, yes, and also from Africa. Here we have two other projects. One is from Africa from, I think, Burkina Faso, from Kasmata Cabret. She started the whole thing with Antoinette Rue. It was the first project that came to, let's say, attention of a international president. And then one of a very successful project that's the intercontinental online meetings done by Geraldine Gova and also by Anne Hilti. Uh, Geraldine she has a monthly I guess you could say a monthly online meeting where one BPW member presents her country or her special issues at an online online meeting where we have people attending you could say from all over the world from New Zealand up to Brazil it's really very interesting then we also have of course experts that's what you get when you register as an expert you get yeah the name and with where you are working where you're strong with and just to show you some other means where we, social media, which we use to make um, PR for all your projects or, or even for experts, that's on Facebook. And sometimes it's really interesting what people send us. We get mails and if it's interesting, we Publish that on our website. We also have a new site on the website where we might publish that as well. But Facebook, yeah, it's very good for that. Really happy that we have that. Ursula is here doing a really great job. Then, just to sum it up, where you find us, that's the website and the Facebook site. Then, that's it. I'm very ha happy to have made this presentation and I really thank you if you wish us through all your projects so we can really show what we are doing. That. We want to thank Daniela for giving us this presentation on BPW projects around the world and on the way that members can register, members and clubs and federations can register their projects with BPW International, which uh, adds to the name recognition and the brand value of your project. In Congress this year, the pilot project, which has been running for six years now, the project to register the projects, will be voted on by General Assembly whether we continue it or not. This was a pilot, and so we'll see. But regardless of the outcome of that vote, the projects continue around the world for the benefit of all women. And to know about these projects is very empowering for all of us. Thank you again to Daniela.